Welcome to the video guide for how to create and edit a video. Today we're going to look at how we can integrate sounds and images into the video, use the pan and zoom animations, add video transitions and visual effects, and titles and credits. This guide is going to focus on using iMovie on the Mac. The guide is pretty similar to using iMovie for a tablet or a phone, but in a later video we'll look at some PC software to accompany the same thing. So let's have a look. The first thing I've done is create a set of files that I'm going to use for my video. In here is some music. I've then got five images that I'm going to use and I've then got three videos. I've put them somewhere easily accessible in this case on my desktop. I'm going to open up iMovie. I might have some previous projects already. I'd like to start by creating a new project and I'd like it to be a movie and this will take me to my working area. The layout is essentially at the bottom having a timeline where I can edit my clips. The top left has some buttons which allow me to add different aspects to my video, transitions, backgrounds, titles, etc. And we'll look at them in a minute. And the top right has a preview of what my current video looks like, as well as a few options for changing colors, for changing stabilization and sound, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my files and drag in my videos. I'm going to choose the three videos that I've got and simply drag them straight across. You'll now notice at this point they're put within my timeline. And I can increase or decrease what I can see on my timeline to go into finer detail if required. At this point I might decide that the video order isn't quite right. I think I want the water part to be in the middle. Well I can simply click and drag and move to where I feel it appropriate. So that's the first basic part of adding the video to my final project. Take the first video. It's 15.9 seconds long. I might find that actually that's just a little bit too long for me at the start. I might want to cut that down. I can click anywhere along the clip and a white vertical line will show up. At that point I can right click and go split clip and I can do that at a second point. Right click and split clip. This has now broken it into three different segments. If I didn't like this middle segment I can simply delete it and take it away. Now I'm not going to do that for now, I'm going to keep it as it originally was. But that's how we can remove certain parts from within a clip. We might also find that the clip itself is actually just a little bit too long. Say for example in this clip of my dog eating the ice cream, we might find that actually rather than it being 15.1 seconds long, I'd like it more around the 10 second mark. I can simply drag and pull it in from either side to reduce the length of the clip. But again, in this example, I'll keep it as original. Well, that's the basics of getting the video in. I'm now going to do the same for the images, and the process is identical. I'm going to go to my area where my images are saved select them and drag them in to wherever I feel appropriate. In this case, at the end of the clip. Now finally for the video section, I might be a little bit unhappy in this third video which has a little bit of audio attributed to it. I can play that at any point to hear it. 
I might decide that I don't actually want to hear that bit of audio. So I can click on my section and by right clicking I can detach audio. At that point I can manipulate the audio volume or I could completely get rid of it by pressing delete. And in this case, that's what I'm going to do. Now finally, when we're looking at the video, there might be some aspects that we want to change. For example, in the water video, I think I'd like to change the coloration a little bit. I'd like to make it a little bit richer. Well, I can go up to my palette at the top and I can change my color balance where I can automatically have a computer adjust it. But I could go into fine changes myself if I felt appropriate. Having completed the basics for the video, I'm going to take a quick look at the images. Ken burns have been attached to these images automatically, whereby they zoom in from a certain point to a certain endpoint. And I can edit a few of them if I feel necessary. For example, I'm pretty happy with most of them. But this one, I don't like starting at the feet going up. So I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to click on the Kenburn cropping tool. At this point, I'm given an end and a start point. So let's take a look at my end point first of all. I want to end with the middle focused on the dot. But my start point, rather than being on the feet, I want it to be in the middle of the dog, but really quite zoomed in. So I can move and manipulate them around until a point where I feel I'm happy. And I can preview that at any time. And in that example, I think I'm quite happy with the changes that I've made. So I can click on the tick. I've now got, in essence, my structure of video. I've got three different clips, then going in to a few different pictures. Across the whole of this, I think I'd like to add some music. So again, I'll go back to my original location. And for this case, I've downloaded a particular song, Who Let The Dogs Out. You need to be aware of copyright issues when adding your own music to aspects such as this. Well, as before, we simply drag in and place where we feel appropriate. And at any point, we can play to see what the project currently looks like. Now, the basics are there, but obviously the clip has music which goes on far beyond the video that I've captured. Just as before, I can simply drag all the way to where my clip ends with my music, and I might find that at the end of this, really the music should begin to fade off. So I can make a curved adjustment, which will begin to trail off the music. Well, at that point, I've added all of the video and images that I feel appropriate, as well as some sound clips. I've added some effects with some of the visuals to the video. And I've looked at Ken Burns for my particular images. Finally, we're now going to look at adding some transitions and a few title and credit effects to complete the video. Let's look at the transitions to begin with. I can click on the transition button at the top and it will give me a variety of different transitions that are available. I think between the first video and the second video, I'm going to have some cross dissolve. So I simply drag and place in. I think I might have a spin between the second and third. And all sorts of other transitions between all different elements but I've got. And again, this comes down to personal preference for what you think you would like. Now, the computer has automatically given me 
a certain time between pictures. So for example, I've got three seconds on this dog, one second of transition, and three seconds on the other dog. But looking at that, I think that transition time was just a little bit too quick. So I can click into it, and I can change the transition time for something that I think is a bit more appropriate. And I could change that for all slides available. And I'm happy with that. That takes a little bit longer. Well, finally, having done all the transitions, I think we should add some titles. So I can click on the Titles tab at the top, and we have, again, a variety of different titles. I think at the very start, I'm going to have the boogie light option. And at the top, I can click in to give it a new title. And when I'm there, I can change the time, but I want for it to play with the information. I might have it run for, say, five seconds. And I can change the colors that it's given. But as default, I'm pretty happy with the boogie light part. I think I'm going to end on the pull focus. Now this will place it across the video that I've chosen to do. So again, I can click on pull focus and I can give it some information. And at this point, I can drag to where I would like it to finally end. And playing that through. That's the iMovie guide for how we can create an edit video by importing, maneuvering, adding transitions and effects, and audio to complete a project. At that point, when we're happy, we can simply click on the Projects button, we can give it a name, and we can press OK. Pressing OK will save it, and then we can export it at a later point if we wish. We export it by selecting the project that we've created, and we can export to a variety of different places, including to a file, where we can choose the quality, and going through the buttons, save it to a given location. The video will be completed when this round circle fills completely with white, and will be given some information informing us. Well, I hope you found the iMovie guide useful. In the next videos, we'll look at using a different package rather than iMovie. Thank you very much.